And we are back. Uh, lots going on. We'll uh, kind of recap some stuff top of the hour right now, as we do every year. Uh, the proprietor, if you will, of the D Las Vegas, Derek Stevens, joining us. D, how are you? Great, great to see you guys. Welcome back. How home. good is this? Welcome back home. It to is. The desert. It is. I mean, what is it, six, seven years now? It is. This yeah. is home. This yeah. is where we are for March. It gets better every year. It was funny. I said it to you during the break. It's when we started doing this. It, it was a table in front of the long bar. It was a table. Did you imagine it would grow into kind of this thing and then the amount of people that would come out and support kind of this this brand we've put together here? Yeah, no, it's awesome. I mean, you're right. When we did that, we uh, we perched you up on a table looking yeah. at Log Bar, and uh, <laughs> then we thought, hey, we got this great Detroit ballroom. Let's see what we can do up here. And uh, over the last couple of years, it's grown. Now it's just packed here today. Yeah, but it's, it's great. great. It's great atmosphere. It's a ton of fun. I keep telling people. This is, if you want a good time, if you want to do March Madness the right way, if you want to be able to just enjoy yourself, get a return on that investment where it's not, I don't know, almost injurious the way other places do it on tournament weekend, this is the spot. It's fair. It's right. It just works. And it's awesome. Well, I love seeing all these uh, all these Detroit people out here, seeing all these uh, all these uh, logos from yeah. uh, Michigan State, Michigan out here. This is like the home away from home. Now, what you have here is great, but, and I know we announced it a few months back, obviously it's underway. You can't miss it. Talk a little bit about the new property you're going to be putting up, and there's a reason I'm bringing it up. If the pictures of what that sports book are going to look like are real and not like the LED roof we were supposed to get on LCA, it's called Circa. Take people through it. Yeah, you can you can uh, you can see uh, some of the video and everything on uh, CircaLasVegas.com. And uh, yeah, we just announced it in January. Construction started uh, the day after uh, yep. Super Bowl, so we're two months in, and we plan on opening in December of uh, 2020. So we're uh, ready to go. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we we spent a lot of time trying to design up something uh, that we thought uh, would be different and something pretty cool that people love to see. It's obviously very sports themed, and it's right uh, right downtown in the heart of. Oh, look at that! Look at that! <laughs> Yogi, okay, wow! Hey, listen, I, I didn't want to I didn't want to break it up. Yeah, and uh, I mean, we I, wanted to we wanted to design something that we thought would be great for uh, for sports fans and for people like being outside the pool, the sun, right. the weather, and it's. You know, right in downtown Las Vegas. And now this is the second high, most visited tourist destination in America after Times Square. 24 million people down here, so it's always bustling. It's a lot of fun. Well, the other thing people don't get either is it's not it's not downtown of 15 years ago. You're getting tons of new restaurants, tons of new bars, tons of development. But Circa is going to be the centerpiece of it. I mean, from the biggest screen we've ever seen at the pool, which will be a sports-themed deal, the book itself, I mean, I know you've, you've got some tie-ins with, with VSIN and, and Brent Musburger's network. There's no sports book that looks like what you're attempting to build. This is wholly different. Explain yeah. why, though. Explain some of the things. Well, you know, we, we wanted to design something up. It's a three-story sports book. It's really like a sports theater almost, yeah. you know. Um, we've got uh, we've got radio booths. We've got the television studio overlooking the whole crowd. and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it'll be the biggest sports book in uh, U.S. history, and we're fired up about it. Bigger than Caesars. Oh, yeah. Bigger than Wynn. Oh, yeah. Big, uh, so the biggest. Oh, yeah. And, is, I mean, the goal is you want to begin to – you want to pull business – from this, you want to pull it from the strip and get them. You want sports fans to go to Circa. You well, want it to be the sports destination. We certainly do. And you know, one thing that we're doing, we've uh, we've been um, in process with our with our sports book application. We go actually into the sports business June first, which we open up at the Golden Gate in the D. That gives our team uh, about a little bit more than a year to develop the whole team, and then we'll be ready when the when the new project opens. But we're excited because we're going to be in the sports business here in June. So talk about it a little bit today. Obviously, you're in the mix. I know there's no zany bet this year. <laughs> I did not see you with Musburger picking all 32 games, whatever it is. But there is something. You're an action guy. What is it? Oh, yeah. What, what we did was, uh, you know, South Point posted up this uh, combination bet. So it was Duke, Michigan. Gonzaga and Kansas, and uh, they put that up as an underdog. So I, I made uh, my big play is on that combo bet. So I took them at plus 105. So uh, so I kind of like that, that, you know, is how I mean, it starts yeah. out. Kansas but, is bye bye. Yeah, but, you got but, no hope. Though. But it's not relevant. I've got two two, two number ones and a two 
And, uh, and need one to win. And because this, this is an underdog bet, you yeah. see a lot of outs. You have a lot of opportunities to hedge by the time you get to Final Four. Hedge, yeah, right. you get final game. Well, the other the other thing, too, I mean, what is Duke? Duke solo is plus 225 to win it all. Right. So to get four teams and still be an underdog, and three of them are relevant. Two of them I think you could put amongst the top three favorites, Duke and Gonzaga, and it would be North Carolina as well. That's not bad. Yeah, that was kind of my thought. You know, it's kind of like a Duke bet, but plus you get Gonzaga and Michigan as part of the kicker, so it's pretty good. Did you miss doing the Musburger deal and doing picking every game? It was eleven grand to win ten grand every single game. I, I would tell you, I did that the last two March Madnesses, and uh, you know that is not easy to, to make those plays within sixty seconds of the number going up. You know, so uh, I, I liked it when they put this combo bet up. We figured we're going to go down this path instead this year. So what else are you going to add to this deal? I mean, you sit back, you see what it's become. You've got everything. I mean, yeah. the craps tables, the blackjack tables, TVs everywhere, couches. What else is there to do? Well, I just told your buddy Bob Turner. I said, you know, this will be a breaking news uh, clip here on uh, on your show here, but. Okay. Uh, Next year, obviously, we're going to do what we're doing up here in the Detroit Ballroom at the D, but uh, we're also going to expand a little bit out at the downtown Las Vegas Event Center. So when you're out really? on the balcony and you see it out there, um, you know, we'll have our own sports app going on, on your app. And uh, we got to expand, so I need space for an extra 8,000 people to come down here for March Madness. We'll make it happen. Yeah. Look, it's the best. We love being here. Thank you for having us as always. And, uh, well, I can't wait for my shift to end. <laughs> I, can, I can rock and roll and be locked in a little more. Hey, Eric, thanks, thanks for bringing everybody over. Thank you very you much. It. Good You're luck. I'll see you guys down a long Absolutely. bar later on. I'll see you later. a little later on. Derek Stevens, everybody.